Science and technology are changing our world at an ever-increasing pace. Breakthroughs in the fields of biology, physics, and chemistry are making the planet safer, healthier, and a more efficient place to live and work. Satellites and computers have combined to make the Earth seem smaller by allowing us to communicate with people around the globe with just the press of a button. Just about everyone has a cell phone these days, and most of us can't even remember living our life without one. But did you realize that there is more computing power and technology in your smartphone than there was in the computers that NASA used in 1969 to put the first man on the moon? And those computers would have filled up this entire room. One of the most recent additions to Stark County is the Hall of Fame Bridge, spanning I-77 in Jackson Township and adjacent to the entrance of Stark State College. How did engineers decide on the design and location? Work done in the field of computational science provided answers about design and traffic flow to create the most effective structure possible. Speaking of traffic, the next time you're stuck in traffic, you may want to think about the fact that designers use computational science to not only increase the aerodynamics and fuel economy of our cars, but also in the design of our seats so that we're more comfortable while we wait out our traffic jam. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is computational science? I'd like to compare it to one of my favorite treats, this peanut butter cup. You may remember the old commercial, who got chocolate on my peanut butter, or who got peanut butter in my chocolate? Computational science is a growing field of study that combines computers and science to solve complex issues. So it's kind of like, did I use science with my computers or computers in my science? While I finish my snack, I'm going to let my instructor, Gene Zorko, speak a little bit more about what computational science is all about. Computational science is using a computer to solve problems in science. Maybe it'll be problems that are too big to do in a laboratory, like something to do with galaxies or astronomy. It might be things that are too little, like nanoparticles, or it might be things that are too dangerous to do in a laboratory, things that might explode or you just don't have the space for something large. You could also use computational science to evaluate data that other scientists have gathered. Maybe they've gone out into the field and found what they thought was a new species of butterfly. You can use computational science in medicine. Uh, there's computational physicists that decide what is your dose of radiation if you're getting radiation therapy for a tumor. A computational scientist is someone who wants to be involved in modern science. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts that computing jobs are some of the fastest growing and highest paying. So what kind of work is being done in the field of computational science? Currently, environmentalists are modeling global climate change. Medical researchers are modeling DNA sequencing for personal medical diagnosis and treatment. And the pharmaceutical industries are studying cost-effective drug design and synthesis. But it's not all high tech. Sometimes it's more hands-on. Detergent manufacturers model human hands to create easier opening containers. Hi, and welcome to Procter & Gamble. My name is Laura Riesenberg, and I'm a biomedical engineer working in the modeling and simulation department here. Well, at PNG, I work on the ergonomics of our products, so how the human interacts with our products. So here we have, for example, a laundry bottle where you twist off the cap. How can we make this cap twist off easily, yet when it's on, not leak? We could make hundreds of these bottles with different variations of caps, and different torques for them and give them to hundreds of people and test that, but that would be very expensive and time consuming. So in order to make that faster, better, we do modeling and simulation. Any company doing design nowadays is going to be doing modeling. Uh, the, one of the great uh, benefits of modeling is that you can come up with a model, do the simulation, do the design on the computer, at a very low cost compared to actually building a prototype and then finding out it didn't work. Computational science is also not confined to the planet Earth. Aerospace companies use modeling to create and test new designs. Astronomers model black holes and geologists model drilling fields to find oil and natural gas under the Earth. So all of this is sounding pretty good so far, right? You're probably wondering if computational science is the right fit for you. Our computational science students tend to be hands-on learners and they enjoy experimental work both in the laboratory and on the computer. One of our recent graduates 
described it as science fiction because he was able to combine the computer technology that he knew growing up playing video games to real world problems. Our students can have a very strong background in science and they might dabble in some computer programming or and it could be the other way around. They may have a very great interest in computer programming, but they'd like to become proficient in some area of science. Thanks, Amy Jo. Now that you know you're a good candidate, let me tell you what you'll be studying. The program is divided in three main areas of study, science, math, and computers. You'll have the opportunity to take about three classes in each of these areas. The classes are introductory level, so you don't have to be Steve Jobs, Jonas Salk, or Albert Einstein to succeed in the program. Then you take three to four classes in computational science to merge or blend the computer, math, and science courses. Getting back to my peanut butter cup example. Well, in high school, I was always interested in science and math, and I found myself liking computers as well. Uh, a lot of my friends were going to the healthcare field and nursing and all that, and I knew I wanted to do something with science. So my advisor actually told me about computational science, and I looked it up, and it's going to be booming in the workforce. So it made it more appealing to me. If you like math, if you like science, if you like to dove into finding out why things happen the way they do, then computational science is an area that you should look into. The Associates of Science degree you'll graduate with from Stark State College gives you a high quality, close to home start on a path toward a four-year degree at schools like Kent State University, Ohio State University, or the University of Akron, where students like Ethan and Andrew are studying exciting things. I was really interested in the program here because it integrates, gives you the opportunity to integrate biology with another field. My project right now will be looking at the, the impacts of mobile elements in genome evolution. So I'll be looking at these mobile elements, which are just small pieces of DNA that are in our genomes that can hop between one place to another. I was running track. Uh, I started to get a lot of national accolades. Uh, I knew I was going to get a track scholarship, so couldn't figure out what I was going to do with my career much past that. And I ended up taking classes here at the University of Akron as a, as a post-bac. And that's when I met Paco, uh, my advisor. And as a result, I ended up doing a lot of computational work. My project is pretty much looking at conservation genetics. So there's a lot of animals in zoos, and the question is, how do we get them from the zoos, if they're endangered species, back into the wild where they belong? Thanks, Ethan and Andrew. Sounds like there's some amazing opportunities in computational science. Well, right now I'm working full-time at Beringer Ingelheim, basically making pharmaceuticals, starting my education here at Stark State, I worked a lot with computational science and the background from computational science gave me a well-rounded kind of experience where I could learn from bringing all the different sciences into one with computers and being able to do different modeling and simulations and that applies to almost every field of engineering nowadays. My experiences at Stark State really prepared me for my future in computational science. Now it's time for you to make a computation. Add up all the information you've seen and heard in this video and multiply it by where and how you want to plan your future. If you've come to the conclusion that computational science is the right fit for you, contact the admissions office. If you're still not sure, log on to our website and find out even more about this exciting new field.